So, let's talk a little bit about how it's going. The old not having a job, how, it, how it's going. Right, right, a few things. One, I'm in redundancy talks and I'm gonna try and be as transparent as possible in this whole process because why the fuck not? Here comes the dog. They're going to give me about two and a half months pay, which is, which is all right, as in like after tax, I take home about two and a half months pay. That's good in the sense that it buys me a little bit of time, but really all it does is it buys me a certain amount of procrastination and thinking time unless I get off my ass. So that's money wise sorted just for the minute. So there's no immediate panic. The plan is never to go back to an office, but I'm unskilled at doing anything else. So it's now about trying to work out how to create new money opportunities. I'm making money from writing online, but so far this month, I'm on course to make about 300 pounds, which is my worst month yet, and it's fucking terrible. So that's pocket money at the moment at, at its best. I need to work out a viable other career. So I've been looking into this and I've been thinking about content writing and more specifically, copywriting. Now, copywriting, for those who don't know, is essentially writing copy for sales, letters, adverts, web pages. It's not like branding. Branding's like about getting your, you know, Coca-Cola or Apple out there or getting the vibe of a brand. This is persuading people to, to buy something, essentially. And there is a, a big career in copywriting. I didn't realise how big copywriting is. And of course, it's getting more prevalent rather than less prevalent. Because maybe like back in the 80s or 90s, you would have like ad more adverts and things like that. Now, lots of the time, people are clicking onto web pages and they're just getting a sales page or a funnel page. So there is certainly a career in copywriting. I listened to a podcast with a guy called Bond Halbert, uh, and I'll put the link of the podcast below. And that has an amazing amount of information that talks just about how to go from complete novice and beginner, me, to trained up, what books to read, what courses to do, what events to go to, and of course, how to get work. So I'm gonna try and follow that pattern. Copywriting is what I'm currently trying to do. It's just about whether or not I'm gonna be able to train myself quick enough to get work and keep myself afloat in that dead period of not having money. Number three, so if that doesn't happen and I'm not able to get money, I might have to get some kind of very menial job, such as, you know, working in a pub, working in a shop, being a delivery driver. But that is still preferable to working in an office for me. It's just not going to be forever. It's just, that's just about feeding mouths and putting money on the table, putting food on the table, putting edible money on the table. And then there was a fourth. What was the fourth? That's right. The fourth is what they call flipping which is a nice way of saying you get stuff for cheap and you sell it on eBay or something like that for more money. You make a profit selling stuff on eBay, essentially, which could be somewhat of not a money earner, but it could keep me afloat. I'm going to have to become super fucking resourceful in this next few months just to make sure that I'm able to keep edible money on the table. Why am I going back to edible money all the time? Anyway, that's where we are. I just wanted to give you an update on what's happening because this is gonna be a completely transparent process. If I need to claim benefits or uh, I become homeless or something like that, you're gonna see a vlog from a homeless man. So I don't think that's gonna happen. It's just about having the tenacity to get the fuck on with it and, and make money using this rather than just going into an office and being a fucking zombie, being a stooge. <laughs> So one last thing, I have been writing every day. I've definitely become a better writer, that's for sure. Although most articles end up earning me about a pound over the month. But it's the churn, you've got to do the churn. I've also been getting up early because I need uh, some form of structure to my day. I Today I just set up a medium publication called Practical Positivity, give it a check to kind of showcase myself I've, I've read about how it's important to have your own publication if you want to showcase your stuff because not everything you write gets put into a, a medium publication and i've been entering vocal challenges you can win up to a thousand or five thousand pounds uh, if you win a writing challenge but i haven't won anything yet this is this is as far as my innovation goes at the moment but there is a plan and a roadmap ish i think this video is going to be boring i'm sorry maybe i should just go back to vlogging at least i'm not in my car as much 
And of course, when comedy starts again, I'll start doing that. So you can see all the neurosis pouring out there as well. See ya.